Every crisis comes up with an opportunity, but often pessimists of the bunch are not able to say it, or maybe they are deliberately refusing to acknowledge the other side of the coin. This is exactly what is happening with the narrative around rupees depreciation against the dollar. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national show-show political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I am here to elaborate on the broader meaning of the appreciation of American dollar. Understanding international trade is not an easy task. The amount of variables involved are so many that even people forget the count of them. However, a fixed currency is a necessary feature of stable global exchange of goods and services. This is exactly where things have gone wrong, especially in the past few months. We are fastly moving towards the de-dollarization of international trade. From the last few days, media has gone bonkers over the fall of rupee against the dollar. There was a psychological barrier of $1 costing 80 rupees in the forex market and it has been crossed now. Experts are estimating that in few months, it is entirely possible that $1 will cost rupees 82, putting a dent in our forex reserve. However, the phenomenon demands a relook. Rather than calling it depreciation of the Indian rupee, it would be better to term it as an appreciation of American dollar. Here's how. Rupee is not the only currency which has witnessed steep decline in its value. In the year 2022, rupee fell 7% in its value to dollar. Euro in fact fell 13% down the ladder while the British pound fell by 11%. Similarly, Japanese yen fell by 16%. Same is the case with other currencies such as Thai baht, Korean won, Bangladeshi taka, Philippine peso and Taiwanese dollar. Chinese currency was able to save its face in the wake of its increased export necessitated by the Ukraine-Russia crisis. The aforementioned relative exchange rate shifts make it clear that it is the dollar on the rise rather than other way around. But there is a catch here. American dollar's rise is not stable. It is in fact a manufactured rise. In the global currency market, the greater demand for currency translates to greater value of that particular currency. This is partly the reason why Chinese Yuan was not affected. Similarly, India's emphasis on internationalization of dollar is also attributable to its attempt to appreciate its value. This is economics 101 of currency trade. The more currency in circulation, the more is its value. Currently, dollar circulation owes mainly to its excessive printing by the United States Federal Reserve. After the 2008 financial crisis, the US administration focused on excessive printing to keep the economy going. Additionally, they also kept the interest rates low to curb recession. 14 years down the line, both these phenomena have turned into a Frankenstein's monster. Now the increasing rate of inflation has forced Federal Reserve to raise interest rates. It has led to dollars being moved back to the United States Treasury. Basically, more dollars are circulating in the global trade, but their flight towards the United States has led the appreciation of the currency. Additionally, Biden administration wants to bring inflation in the range of 2 to 3 percent from the current rate of 9. It will translate to more interest rate hikes, leading to more inflow of dollars into the US economy. This is what countries have been fearful of. Apart from different sanctions on Russia, Iran, Venezuela and 57 other countries, the fluctuation of the dollar is one of the reasons why countries are constantly looking for bilateral currency trade agreements. Upcoming rupee ruble is just the tip of the iceberg. China is already way ahead of other nations looking for substituting dollar. Currently, more than 2% of global forex reserve is stored in Chinese renminbi. China is currently involved with non-dollar trade with Brazil, Russia, among few other countries. It is needless to say that 28 countries of European Union are involved in intra-EU euro trade. In 2021, for a brief period, dollar's share in global forex reserve had hit a 25-year low with 59% of the total reserves. Though COVID put some break in its declaration and currently around 60% in the forex reserve is reserved in dollars. 
but this is not likely to sustain for a long term and it is entirely possible that rupee may play a key role in its downfall. India's economic fundamentals are great, which is reflected in rupee strength against other currencies circulated in the global market. At the time when rupee was depreciating against the dollar, it registered a surge in its value against currencies like Norwegian krone, Japanese yen, British pound, euro, among others. Clearly, India can tilt bilateral trade with these economies in its favor.